Boo! Happy Halloween, uh, Resident Evil and other toy fans out there. Uh, Soundwave Forever coming to you with my third video review. Um, I'm just trying to get as many videos uploaded as I can tonight. I just want to try to get some subscribers early on. You know, I just, you know, this is my, uh, uh, first time, like, like, the first time trying to get some, some, uh, videos in on my video reviews. I know I don't really have any, like, subscribers yet, or any comments, or any, like, ratings. I kind of want that, you know, it would really help, just to get me going. But, all that's said and done, like I said, it's Halloween month, and, um, I'm doing, I have two reviews of Resident Evil figures already, um, including this one. Been done the 10th anniversary tyrant, and this is the Resident Evil 10th anniversary hunter. Now, the hunter is uh, one of the creatures in the Resident Evil series, they are featured in uh, a few of the games. Uh, this is the hunter, I, th I believe it's the Alpha, it made its first appearance in the first Resident Evil game. It's like a reptilian, humanoid ish monster. Uh, they crouch down and they leave the people. Um, they also made an appearance in uh, Resident Evil Code Veronica, and they had a, a purple variation that was a poison version of them. Um, and they're also in Resident Evil 3. Uh, there was a Hunter Gamma and a Hunter Beta, and they were kind of like, uh, like prototypes. But this is the original. This is from the 10th anniversary uh, collection. Uh, this is actually a pretty cool one. I mean. I am a fan of the uh, Toy Biz figure, but this guy is pretty awesome. Um, what I do like about this figure, better than most of the uh, other um, figures in the uh, 10th anniversary line, it's probably the most articulated one. None of the figures from the 10th anniversary line have articulation in the, in the elbows. Uh, first off, the detail is pretty freaking awesome. I like the slit in the eyes, the reptilian eyes, and that gimmick that I like is, that I like is the mouth opens, the roses. I'm a figure! I'm a monster! I will eat your damn brains out, and I will spit them out and decorate my house for Christmas! No, 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 no. Derp, 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 derp. Um, it's really, really detailed. It's got the scales. The scales are really cool. I love the scale detail. And it's got like this red design. I'm not even sure if it's supposed to be blood or it's like some kind of stripe marking because he's got some of it going on in the back. The detail's so good. Um, articulation. The head doesn't rotate. It's all on one. It's all part of the body. But like I said, the mouth does move. The arms will rotate 360 degrees. You can bend at the elbow. 360 degrees, and at the elbow, they go in and out, in and out, one, two, three, four, five, six, um, the legs just kind of bent up and down, and, uh, there's no articulation in the, uh, feet, there's just a small pivot that you can kind of work your way around the foot, but that's about it, um, It's, it's not bad. I like it. It's a cool figure. Size comparison. Here he is next to his Toy Biz counterpart. This is the uh, Toy Biz original Hunter figure. A little more articulation on this figure. Um, kind of really good detail too. Not as detailed as the 10th anniversary. You can see this guy's a lot bigger. But uh... It's a really good one, though. I really like this figure. It's the, probably the best Hunter figure out of all Resident Evil toys. So, um, yeah, if you don't have it and you're a Resident Evil fan and you're a toy hunter like me, you will get this figure. Anyways, Resident Evil 10th Anniversary. 